Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about an oxygen tubing management system. This one is actually a remote control system, allowing for a retractable oxygen tube during mobility. It's a really clever design, a really cool product that I'm super excited to share. Oxygen management and oxygen tubing management can be such a hassle in the home as far as preventing falls, keeping the tubing from kinking. All of these things are so important in maintaining good oxygen usage for those who are dependent on it for safety and for living. So the biggest thing with this system is that it's really quite affordable. A lot of systems have come and gone over the years and the price point was just not very good. This one is under $200. It comes with the motorized system here and the attachments that you need to attach it to your concentrator. The way to keep the price down and the shipping down is that you will be buying your own container. So this container that it's attached to is just a standard um, trash can actually that you can get from Walmart or Amazon or Target, really anywhere that sells trash cans. And the whole system comes together very, very easily. Basically what it does is through this little guide here, it's going to bring the tubing in and out and kind of gently coil it into this container. All of that done using a remote. Plugs into a standard outlet. So all you have to do is turn it on and you're off to the races. The setup could not be easier. So I've got this nice, easy to use remote. It only has two buttons, as you can see, an in and an out, keeping it very simple. When you're going in, you're going to go into the, into the bucket to retract. When you go out, it's when you walk away from it. So with a little bit of practice, most people could kind of get that pattern down. And you do have to hold the button for the entire duration of the movement. That's important because that's a safety feature. If it was um, automatically coming in and out, it could still cause you to have some problems with tangling and uh, moving too fast. Another feature though, to prevent that from happening while it's being compressed, it does have a speed modulating dial here. So you can adjust how quickly or slowly the tubing is pulled in and out of the container, which is another really nice option just to keep things safe. But again, very simple to use, very simple to assemble. It does come with two remotes. So this is a great feature if you're somebody who's caring for somebody who's oxygen dependent, they could have their own remote to be able to manage it while the person walks, for example, or is being propelled through um, the home in a wheelchair. So just a really, really slick little system. I'm gonna show you how it works here. Basically, all you would do is attach this, it comes with a strap to your concentrator. So this is going to be a stable piece. It's going to stay next to the concentrator. It attaches using this piece here. This is going to have a swivel attached to it and then attached to the concentrator to make sure everything stays uh, avoiding the kinking that can happen there. That all attaches on that side. It goes plugged in. I have it in an extension cord, but if you have a concentrator nearby, you probably have an outlet nearby as well. So usually electricity is not a problem. Then this comes disassembled. I'll show you how this goes. This is the uh, guide that makes sure the tubing goes into the bucket. And then simply, all you have to do here, I'm gonna actually lift this off so it's easier to see. Turn it off for now. Your tubing, simply goes through those two little pegs there, right here. So all you have to do is kind of pull them apart slightly. This does not kink the tube. It just simply guides the tube. And once that's in, you simply guide this down over the edge of the bucket, making sure it doesn't get caught on any of your cords, just like that. And then this piece goes over top, Velcro's on. This piece goes back here, Velcro's on. So easy, sets up in minutes. I love that about it. And it comes with really detailed instructions, both written in the manual as well as on their website. I'll have links to all of that down below if you have some questions. So I'm going to put on the oxygen just like I would if I was needing this for my own health needs, just to show you how this would work. Now, if I'm somebody who does not require the use of a mobility aid, I would likely wear the, ox or the remote around my neck on a lanyard, maybe with a retractable lanyard, but the lanyard that comes with it works really well. I'm gonna slide this over a little bit and I'm gonna move my walker out of the way just to show you how this looks. And I'm going to press the out button. And this is going to allow me to walk away from the system with my oxygen trailing behind. Now, this is where it's really important because this is where, so if I have this out quite a bit, this is where people often trip is they step on their own tubing. But with this, I can press my in button as I walk, and my tubing is always staying ahead of me and not underfoot. 
Now I'm back to where I started. I can sit down. This can go 50 feet. The tubing can be managed from that distance. And another nice thing is because this is radio frequency, it can go between rooms. So you do not have to be within line of sight of the machine for it to work. So that's a really important factor. Now let's talk about somebody with a mobility aid like a walker. If you were mo moving with a walker, you wouldn't necessarily want this on a lanyard. You could potentially do a retractable lanyard system, but because it comes with two of them, what the manufacturer actually recommends is that you take a piece of Velcro, apply it to the back of the remote, and a piece of Velcro and apply it to the handle of your walker, just like this, so that you can have your hand, your thumb, resting on top of the, like that, so that you can have your hand placed securely on your walker, like this, and the remote right there. Now you can still do the in and out movement while safely moving with your walker. So let's try it. So I'm gonna walk away, so I press the out button, just like that. Now I'm gonna to turn towards my system here. And again, this is what I really like about this system is another place where people get really caught up is tangled in their, their wheels, whether it's a wheelchair or a walker system. So now as I walk towards my system, I can walk towards it and the tubing is all controlled and in the, in the bucket instead of under my feet. A lot easier than having to pick up your tubing as you go, kind of manually roll it, it's actually less likely to kink in this container because it gently spools it in a circle like that. One little piece of advice, if you ever run into the problem of your tubing is still kinking in this, pro in this machine, it could be that your tubing is very stiff, especially if you have new tube um, or it's been stored somewhere cold for a while. The tubing can get quite stiff. One way that you can actually help with that is put it in a pillowcase and put it in your dryer for about five minutes on a low heat. That'll help soften that tubing up a little bit and reduce the risk of it um, kinking up in the machine. So that's one way you can actually solve that problem. So overall, I think this is a brilliant design. I think it helps so many people who are dependent on oxygen in their homes, in the community. So go ahead and give it a look. Like I said, all the details of it will be down in the description. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them here. And obviously, if you like the video, I would love a thumbs up. And as always, if you need more information like this on how to stay safe and independent in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.